Coach John here for my first uh, SST live session of the uh, pandemic. Uh, um, you know, they saved the best for last. Um, we have Emily and Brooke. They've been here for about 17 members in a row. Uh, I coach both of them. Uh, so any credit that they get at any mo moment in time through these live sessions should be to me. Because <laughs> I've had them for a really long time, okay? So just wanted you guys to know that before we start. But no, some of the two best kids in their age group. So I just want to say that. All right, so what we're going to do today is um, we're going to do a pretty basic warm-up. Um, after that, we're going to do some technical work, some foot skills. Um, then we're going to get into what I'd like to say is a, compl a complicated dribbling sequence. So there's going to be five, six, seven steps to it. If at any time it becomes maybe a little bit too difficult and we need to knock it down a bit for you guys at home, then you don't have to do all seven steps. You could pick maybe one step or two or three steps that you would like to do so you could, um, you could um, get the most out of it. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the warm up. So, so if Emily's working, okay, and I'm serving, so they're gonna each work for 30 seconds, okay? Um, first one's gonna be easy. So the middle of the cone is gonna be one touch to the right. Gets to the outside, right again. Now on her way back. She goes left foot, left side, left foot, and then on the way to the right, right foot, right, right foot. Okay? So 30 seconds. Okay? Listen, this is a little bit of a warm up, so don't go crazy. Okay? Ready, set, go. One touch, nice and easy. When you go to the left, left foot, back to the right in the middle, you use your right foot. Okay? Are you going for a second? Yeah, 15 seconds. Try not to get too close to the cold. Give yourself a little bit of depth. Let the ball get to you. Have a little bit of time. Five, the ball gets to you. Four, three, two, one, time. And swap. Remember, this is basic. It's going to get harder. Ready? Go. What's this tool? Screw up close. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Everybody at home keep tallies of who screws up the most today. Brooke or Emily. Because then they'll take it home with them and there'll be a big fight. So somebody keep somebody keep track. Oh, I got that way through. Ten more seconds. Nice and easy. Okay. If you have a wall, obviously you're doing this with a wall. If you Three, have somebody who can serve it to you, somebody can serve it to you. One time. Okay, so so I would say, while I'm talking, maybe have, you know, for the next 15, 20 seconds, get a little bit of a stretch. But the next one's going to be this. I'll, I'll demo. I'll show you how good I am. So the ball's always going to be coming through the middle. I'm going to take a touch of the outside of the right, take it to the right side of the cone, play back to the inside. As soon as I do that, I'm going to get back to the center, and I'm going to come with my left. So outside of my left, play back to the inside. Shift back, play back to the inside. So. Right, right, left, left. 30 seconds, still a warm up, okay? Ready? Go. Make sure um, as you touch, you're touching movement together. Tessa Jankowski, uh, you said hello. I'm embarrassed to say this on live television or live YouTube vision that I listened to um, Sugar Watermelon by Harry Styles. And I actually wasn't that disappointed with it. So that was for you, Tessa. All right, we're going to go five seconds. Sorry, I didn't work like that. And one more. Good. Ready? Go. So obviously, guys, this is just simple, but it still takes concentration to make sure your first touch gets you outside of the, of the gate. Not too far, but not too close. Um, so I'll get out of the way so you can actually see them working. Um, but just simple. We have one, more, one more warm up after this, and then we'll get into, you know, maybe full speed. Three, two, one, time. So hopefully you're gradually getting a little bit warmer. Heart rate's going a little bit. So same thing, but just a, a, a tiny, a tiny bit of a different concept. So when I go to my right, I'm going to use the inside of my left foot, take a touch across, and play with the inside of my right. And then when I'm going to my left, touch right, play left, shift back. So inside of one across, play back.
inside of the ups, okay? Last one, you'll get a, like a 15 second stretch and then we'll go full speed. Ready? Go. Okay, okay, good. Light feet, not heavy feet, always landing on your toes, not your heels. Talk yourself through it. So, if this, was, seconds. if this was a regular training session, there's no cameras here, I would literally just be saying and repeating everything that they're doing to them so they can get the most out of it physically and mentally. But obviously, Three, we can't do that, so two, you should be talking to yourself. One time. Okay. Everybody get a uh, Okay, so now we are going to try to go full speed, okay? It's only three seconds, that was warm, so that should definitely have been a little bit slower, but this we need to start pushing and trying to get uh, something out of it. So we have three of these. Everyone is always gonna start with a one touch that goes back through the middle. So if I'm working with my right foot first, you can start with foot first, that's up to you. Play to me, one touch. I get it right back, and we're going to do it in and out. In, out, and then I play it back. After that, you then switch feet. So then I'd be on my left, one touch with the left, then I'd be going in, out. Now, because I stink and I don't have cleats on, I'm not taking a big hop. Once the ball comes back for the second time, I go one touch, try to take a big hop, and then get back into the middle of the goals. Okay, so soft touch out, big hop, and put back on the outside. Are we ready? Let's go first. 30 seconds. Okay? Remember, left touch in, big hop out. Set, go. Always do one touch. Be on your toes, the ball goes back, in, out. So try to get your plan for all the way to the outside. Good, bro. Good. Go to the big. Go to the big. One touch. Big. Big hop. Soft touch in. Good. Soft. Big. You gotta go bigger. You gotta go bigger. Good. Back. Light on your feet. So as the ball's coming to you, you're taking a big hop on your plant foot and touching in softly and then bursting out the outside. Three, two, one, two. Good. Wow. She could definitely do better than that. I know that. Are we ready? Set, go. Right foot, one touch, light on your feet. Soft touch, big. There you go, good. Try to get the ball down and then hit the wall. You obviously know the wall you have in your house or how hard you have to play it to get it back. If you have a parent rolling it to you, then you're good, but this will be the only thing that we're doing today that has a wall. Come on, you got 15 seconds there. Come on. One touch. Good. Stop. Good. Big. Don't let anything in the toes. Always. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. Swap. So that's one done. Okay? Now, obviously, if we had more than an hour, hour we would be or 35 45 minutes however this goes we would be doing these for maybe two or three sets but you guys get the idea so next one we're going to demonstrate because she's way better at me currently um what's going to be is going to be another one touch she's going to one touch with her right now when emily gives the ball back to her she's going to take a touch with the outside of her right past the gate she's going to do a pull back across her middle with her opposite foot. So we'll show you one more time on the right side. So one touch on the right, she takes a touch away, pulls with the bottom of her foot back, and then plays with the opposite foot. Brooke show one with the left foot. One touch, takes a touch away, pulls bottom of her toe, back in. Now, before we get into 30 seconds, make sure once you push, you pull it hard back across the front of your body, not behind you, in front of your plant foot. Are we ready? 30 seconds. because you always have that touch to pull it back in. But obviously, the bigger the touch, the bigger the pull. Okay? And try to get it somewhere. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, bro. Try to get three more in. Come on. Good. Touch away. Pull. You got two more in with the right. Two right three. Right. Come on. Two. Last one left. One. Last one left. Touch. Ah. Uh, next one. 
So see, for knowing these kids for a while, Emily probably jammed that to her way hard on purpose at the end, so we're gonna <laughs> You know what I mean? Here we go. Go. One second. Good, a little closer to it, a little closer to it. Good, there you go, good. Off, guys, one, two, three, in a perfect world, but if your first touch is obviously not big enough, you could take another one. If you need to pull it another touch because you didn't get back in between the center of the cone, obviously you could take more than one. But the ideal number. time um, if this was a full hour and a half we would be trying to maybe do two sets of that instead of one so okay last one like everything we've been doing it starts with a one touch back to her so one touch back this side Brooke is going to take a touch with the inside of her right across her body towards her left and then she's She's gonna reach and she's gonna do a little V, a full push back to the middle, and then play. So now it's all three touches are done with your one foot. So right, 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 left, left, left. So give a quick demo for this side. So one touch, touch across, full push, and then play. Good. Left side, one touch, touch across your body, V, good. Now, I don't want you to just pull it and then play. It's a V, so a V is where you pull back, take a touch forward, so make sure the V is two touches, okay? 30 seconds, last one, and make it a little quick step, and then you'll really see him start dying. Ready, go. One touch, good. Touch across your body, open up your hips, good. Make sure, guys, when you're doing the V, you are swinging your hips open quick and fast. The quicker you do it, the more successful it will actually be in a game. If you're gonna just do it and go doing this super, super slow, then you're not getting out of it. Okay, you gotta stop. 12 seconds, come on. Come on, Brooke, here we go. 12 seconds. Good, good. Emily, don't get ready that fast. The rest of the way. Five, four, four three, one more left. Three, one two, one, touch, B, good. Last one, we get a sip. You get a sip. And we're on to bigger and better things. Ready? Set, go. Last one. Remember, always land on your feet. If you notice, Emily and Brooke rarely are on their heels, okay? They're always on their toes, on their front foot. Even Brooke, who is serving right now, is basically on her toes like Emily the whole time. So, obviously, if you have parents serving to you, just tell your mom or dad to get on their toes when they're serving the ball back to you. Okay? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on. Touch. Good. Got three left. What was the duration is. So what we're about to do right now is going to be a simple two cone uh, dribbling sequence. Now this is going to be probably a seven, we're going to do three of these, seven, eight step sequence. So this is obviously on the advanced side so we can showcase the uh, girls foot skills and talent. Now like I said in the beginning of the, of the, of the session, if at any time it is too hard and you have lost step four, five, six, or seven, or three or four, then just pick one or two steps that you would like to do and stick with that instead of trying to do all seven steps and maybe not being able to do it um, at all. So if there's one of you and you're by yourself, then make sure you're only working when um, Emily is working or Brooke, okay? So this is not gonna be timed. They're gonna do three reps each. So three sequences at three reps each, all right? If you can get in more, then good for you, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so she's gonna pull the ball back across the front of her body. Now, as soon as she does that, she is gonna do a step over pass with the right and come back with her right. Then she goes. She dribbles down, around, oh, now freeze. So, step one, just go up and do a pullback. Step two, step over back, 
and then go down around the bottom cone. Now, she's gonna do a little pull push, which I call a little nutmeg. So she's gonna pull the bottom of the fish, push to the other side and outside. The ball goes to the top of the cone, her body goes behind the cone, okay? Then after that, she's gonna take a touch forward, cruise, go down around, Maradona, and then she's done. Okay, so listen, I know that is complicated, but we'll do one more really slow, and then we'll get it going. So, she goes up, pull back across the front of her body, step over, step over, go down around the second cone. Little nutmeg, ball goes top, body goes behind, takes a touch forward, quicks, down around the cone again, Maradona about halfway through, and then she accelerates out, and then Brooke goes. So listen, I repeat before we start this, this is complicated, Okay, this is an advanced session, but you can make it as simple as you want. So as soon as Emily goes, Brooke's gonna go, but I might not talk a lot to you during this, but I'm gonna definitely push them so you see how it should be done. Okay, so we got three reps each, no time, just three reps per person. Ready, set, go. So up to the cone, pull back across the front, sell the face, good. Down around the bottom cone. She does a little nothing, no confidence. Cruise, down around, back up. Okay, spins and out. So that's one. Go on, Brooke. Pull across the front of your last partner. Step, step, very good. Down around. Good. Nutmeg. Good. Other side. Touch. Cruise. Down around. And clamp down. Hold one second before you go. Good. Very good. Now, that's one set. So before they do the next two, I'm going to tell let you this and I'm going to tell them this. I know for a fact that they can do it a little bit better. So put some emphasis into your moves. Do it with a bit of aggression because they're gonna have to start doing that a little bit harder too. Are we ready? Two laps, go. Come on, up, pull back, turn your body, good. On your toes, sell your face, man. The defender doesn't know what you're about to do, you do, so make sure you sell your face. Even when you're tired, talk yourself through. Good, up, Brooks go with the eyes, the foot goes across the front, hard step, hard step, down. Stay tight around the bottom cone. Little nutmeg, good. Other side, coin, big big shot, down around, accelerate up, good spin. And go in. Change your speed. Once you get around the cone, slow, 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 slow. And then when you get around the cone, you gotta go fast. Okay? Don't go the same speed the entire time. If you're going the same speed the entire time, you're not doing what you should be doing. Okay? Come on, Emma. Finish strong. I'm gonna make him do four. Sorry. Go. Come on. You got one more easy after this. Come on, bro. Big, 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 go. Good. Man on your toes, not your heels. Your toes. Always being on your toes. Big, big shot. Good. Croy. She could have Croy take the shot a little better, but we'll let her go. Last one's gotta be the best one. Last one's gotta be the best one. Step, step, good, good, touch, 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 Meg, very good, Croy, down, round, come on, finish on a good hard pull, good, well done, now that was a good step, come on, last one, pull, sell it, big, big, good, around, Meg, quack, good, hard, very good, around, tight, good, and we'll let him catch the breath, so, for example, before we move on to the next two. So if all you got out of that was the pullback across the front of your body, let's say, um, and let's say the cruif, and that's all you did for the three or four sets, that's totally cool, okay? If you were able to um, do all of them, then that's even better. So if you didn't get all six, seven steps, whatever it is, um, that's totally cool. All right, so, Coach will come to the clipboard. Coach John has two little post-it notes that he writes down all the sessions on, so just, from one business partner to the other. Just a little, little difference that we have there, all right? Now, next one. All right. So, she goes up to the end, red cone. She's gonna do the same thing, pull across the front of her body. Now, with the same foot, she's gonna be back to the cone, right after that, and also three times. So, first three things are simple from, from U9, U10, all the way up to there. Everybody can do a pullback. Everybody can do a V and everybody can do an L turn. You're just gonna have to do it one after the other, okay? So after she does that, she dribbles down around the bottom cone, gets that back leg. She does a pull with her left, push away with her right. Then she goes around the cone and double to the finger. And then she accelerates out and then she'll start on the opposite side. So if we do it one more time, that's all right. So she goes up, she does a pull across the front, she does an L turn, or B, I'm sorry, down around, and then we're just gonna double scissor up and finish across. So this one is a little bit 
more simple. Okay? So let's look at each other's eyes. Do we got it? Yeah. Ready? Set. Go. Full press. Good. Pull across the front. V. L. Good. Down and around. Double. Get out. And then wait. Good. This is one that's a little bit simpler. Come on. Pull. Good. L. It's okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Down and around. Good. Double scissors. They're doing four reps each. Four reps each. Good. Go. Now you should maybe on the way up, the opposite way, maybe use your weak foot if you can. But if you need to just keep consistently doing your strong foot, that's totally okay as well. And um, just so you show everybody that makes mistakes, I uh, definitely forgot one of the steps in here, so we just had to, uh, we just had to uh, adjust. Good. Double scissors. How many down? Two or three? Okay. Pull. V. L. Down around. Big steps on the double scissors. Big steps on the double scissors. Big. One, two. Good. Last one coming up for Brooke. Emily's got two left. And she's doing left foot. That's pretty good. Around. Sell the face. Good. Double. Well done. Come on. Last one each. Last one each. And then you're going to quick sit before we do the third one. Go on. Quick. L. Good. Tight, 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 tight. Double. Good. Last one, Emily. Come on. And you're going to sit before we do the third one. Good. Good, quick, so three back to back. On your toes, have confidence in yourself. The ball's gonna be exactly where you want it to be. Good, get assist for you, third one. Now, if you can look, they're gassed, and that's how you should be. At the end of the 35, 45 minutes to an hour, you haven't, you know, sweat a little bit, and you're not, like, out of breath, then we're doing something wrong, okay? So they're gonna have about a minute and a half, minute, and then we'll get back out. We'll do um, another sequence before we move on to a little fitness with Still got about 45 seconds, 45 seconds. Okay, so again, you know, you still got like 20 seconds if you want, they're gonna totally make their way, but uh, this is going to be the last one of two cone sequence, and then, We'll get another sip and we're gonna do a little footwork but it's gonna end with a like footwork slash fitness so the footwork we're gonna a little bit uh simpler but we're gonna have to push the heart rate all right okay so i'm gonna get you okay so this is the last one i think it's gonna be the most complicated so you're gonna go up dribbling full speed you're going to be Thinking the shot and then doing a quick toe touch. So now I'm stationary after a big shot and toe touch. I'm facing out. Okay? As soon as I do that, I'm going to do it. In, out. Now I'm making my way down towards the far cone. After I do that, I'm going to do a pull with one, push away with the other. As soon as that's done, I'm going to do a V. After I V, I'm going to go around the cone. Now, Outside, this time we're going to go bottom inside. As soon as I do that, I take a touch forward, I do a step over, and then I go down, around the cone, and then we're going to finish with just a simple rollover to finish. Okay, so last time, go here, step one, take a shot three. As soon as I do that, in, out. Comes to far cone, pull, push away. Go and get it. V, back towards the cone. Down and around. Not bad, but this time you do the inside. After we do that, I'm going to do the step over, get it back down and around, and do a roll over and finish. I'll talk to you in two Okay, so again, all you get out of that is the pull across, the roll over, that's totally fine. Okay, so this is the last one. This is going to be a bit harder. I'm going to talk you through because it's Multiple, multiple steps, okay? Four reps each, and then they get another set. You too, so really, really push yourself. Ready, go. So go up, big shot, freeze, in and out. Good, there, pull, push, speed, good. Down and out, nothing, yes, good. Step over, down, and a big roll over. Very good, and good start. 
start. Very good. So you go up, take a shot, breathe them. Good. In and out. Pull. Push. Be back. Good. Down and up. So I know this one's difficult, and then probably in the third or fourth set, your legs are getting super tired. But at the end of the day, you're not going to get better unless you kind of push through the plateaus that you, that you get. Okay? And that's Emily's third one. This is Brooke's third one. Right hand, you got one more left. Good. Pull. Very good, Brooke. Pull, push. B. Tight down the foam. B. Very good. Step over heart. Back down. Good. Now that's your good sequence. Last one each. Here we go. Last one each. You can tell they're sweating. Good. In. Out. Still hop the big one in and out. Good push. In. Nutmeg. Good. Step. Back down. Around. Big roll. Last one for Brooke. And they'll get another step. Come on. In. Out. Good. Push. B. Big. Open up the hips. Good. Down. Nutmeg. Sharp. Very good. And step. And good. Very good. And they're going to get another sip because you can tell it's freaking up. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to do this back to back to back to back. Now, I know we are 27, 28 minutes in. Okay. They're going to get a sip. We are going to do foot skills, simple cone line foot skills, but we are going to add that with some fitness. Okay. So if if you are a soccer player and you hate doing fitness, which I would say most, most soccer players don't like just going to run without the ball, this is something you could do where you could work on your feet and at the same time maybe get a little fitness in, okay? So because they're working and hopefully you're working as hard as they are, they're going to get a good minute, minute and a half. I'm going to set up the next, the next drill, all right? So what we're doing is the last thing. It's going to be three of them and then you're done, all right? So, you need seven cones in a line, about, you know, a yard or two yards apart. If you don't have seven, you have six, that's fine. If you have five, that's fine. Four or three, then, you know, get a shoe or something. Because we're going to need more than three or four, more than three or four cones. All right. I have to say, the camera does make me a little bit nervous. You know what I mean? I don't know why. Just, this, isn't, this isn't my 100%, I'm just telling you. The camera's messing me up. All right, so. I'm the demo, so they can get as much rest as I possible. Awesome. So, Emily's gonna work for two sets in a row, and then she's done, so that's you. So if you're working with Emily, you're gonna do two sets like she does, and then when Brooke's doing her two sets, you're gonna rest, okay? So, first one is gonna be super, super simple. It's gonna be roll trap. So you're gonna go all the way through the red cones, rolling and trapping, all the way through. Roll across, touch forward. Roll across, touch forward. Roll across, touch forward. Across, touch forward. Now, simple. Once you get up to the end, you leave the ball. Come down. Sprint. Touch even with the cone. Come back up. And then you repeat. Roll, trap, roll, trap, roll, trap, roll, trap, roll, trap, roll, trap. Leave the ball. Sprint down to the end. Touch and come back. And then you're done. So, Emily's gonna do it two times. So she does it, then Brooke does it, then Emily does it, then Brooke does it. Okay, so you only work with one of them. But if you can do all four, then you are a superhero. All right, ready, set, go, roll trap. So we're doing simple foot skills. So the foot skills have gotten easier, but hopefully the tempo gets a little bit faster. It's a sprint, down, she's gonna have to work her way back again. Roll trap, and the ball is good. Try to get all the way past the last cone in before you leave the ball. Good. Leave it. Sprint. Touch it down. Make sure you're doing you know, the basketball sprints. You've got to get down and touch the floor like your basketball coach would tell you. You know what I mean? But for the sake of this, 
So we could say in camera, you can't sprint 30 yards. So if it's only going to be 15, 20, you know, get low. Good. So come on. See, look at these kids. They could definitely be fitter. Definitely. But it's not bad. Okay? You got one more, one more each after this? One more each? Come on. Sprint. Good. So again, guys, if you're not into just running with, with, without the ball and you want to always do something with the ball, and then you could, this is something obviously very simple that you can do that can incorporate the ball and fitness all in one. All right? Good, M. Come on, last one. Last one for M. Good. Come on, bro. Finish strong. Good. So as your legs are getting a little bit heavy because we're getting towards the end of the session, like I always say, it's very important to talk yourself through these things. So as you're doing your roll trap, tell yourself, roll trap, roll trap, hard roll, soft touch, hard roll, soft touch, hard roll, soft touch, sprint, touch, and back. Okay? So we'll give them a little bit of time, a little bit of time as well. That's one done, two to go. All right? Um, you're looking, they're not happy about anything today. I could just, you know, they're not happy about anything today. But what I'm saying is two left, done. And if you worked as hard as they worked, then you could say that you actually got um, a good workout in today. All right? Now, next one. So we used to do roll trap, okay? Now this is going to be a little bit hard. You're going to roll trap, okay? But then once you get to one side of the cone, you're going to be back to the same side. So if I'm working on my right foot, I'm going to be on this side side of the cone the entire time. If I'm working with my opposite foot, then I'm going to be on this, this side of the cone the entire time. So you go through, roll, trap, B, back to the other side. Roll, trap, B, back to the other side. Roll, trap, B, back to the other side. And obviously, leave the ball, sprint, come back up, and again. You got a guy? You got an Indian? Come on. Okay, so foot skills a little bit harder, but same duration, same length of a sprint. Okay, ready? Go. Roll, 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 trap, B. Good, she's got it. This is one of them's best ones, I have to say, in my opinion. Roll, trap, B. Good. Roll, trap, B. Roll, trap, B. Good. So make sure your body's trying to stay on one side of the cone. When you roll, trap, you'll come through the cone, but then you need to be back to the same side that you started, okay? Roll, trap, B. Roll, trap, B. Roll, trap, B. Well done. Very good. Very good. Hold it, Brooke. Don't get too anxious here. Good. She's in. Go. Well done, Adam. Maybe the next one will only make them do one, guys, because they look like they're crying. Good. About your hips, too. So when you roll, trap, hips here, open up your hips when you do the V, okay? Come on, bro. Go on. And then obviously, guys, if you want to go the second time and you want to use your weak foot, that's completely up to you, okay? That's completely up to you. Roll, trap, V. Good. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Last one on Emily and Brooke. Last one. They're tired. So this is... As cool as it may sound, this is what the coach will say to you, like, this separates the best players from the good players, but, like, in a way, it, it does. Like, if this is your last set and he's going to, like, try to dog it, then, you know, obviously she should be able to get through it. But if she's trying to make sure that her second set was faster or just as fast as her first set, then, you know, I'm sure she'll be better off because of it. Good. Come on, Emma. Good. And here we go. Last one. Look at Emily didn't even move the ball from Brooke and she looked very disturbed by that. She looked very disturbed by that. Come on. Roll trap. B. Good. Roll trap. B. Good. Come on. Come on. And have to calm me after this. Go on. Come on. Oh, she's working left foot. Look at this. She whips out the left foot on the second set. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. Finish. Hard. That wasn't a real sprint. Okay, catch your breath. I'm obviously busting their chops, guys. They're working real hard. Last one coming up. All right, let me in. Okay. So last one coming up. Catch your breath. Okay. Um, can you handle two? Yeah. Two each? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's going to be up to you. You can face that way or you can face this way. It, 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 really doesn't, it really doesn't matter. But if you would like to use your right foot, you're going to have to be facing this way. If you want to use your left foot, you're going to have to be facing down. All right? So what I do is I call this the U. All right? So whatever you're going to do is hips are always facing straight. Okay? So you're going to pull the bottom. Push outside, push forward to the inside. Pull, push inside. So you start to pull, pull back, push over, come forward. Pull back, push forward, come forward. So all the way through. Here, this is sprint and back. Now, if Emily wants to, 
she could face the opposite, she could face the same way and use her left foot on the way back, or she could face the opposite way and then use her right foot twice. That's completely up to you, and that's completely up to you. Do you understand? Okay. I know it's been a lot of talking from Coach John, but uh, we are literally done. This is going to be the last minute. Hopefully, it's a good last minute. Are we ready? Set, go. So forward, back, forward, back. Good. Pull, push, forward. Pull, push, forward. Leave the ball. Good. Now, this is when she makes the decision. If she wants to use her left, she faces the same way, which she did. Or if you want to use your right again, you would have to turn and come back down the opposite side. Okay? Here we're going to start with the left. I like the thinking. Get the stinky foot out of the way early. Finish strong with the strong foot. Good. Okay? So even though your plant foot's not touching the ball, guys, it's still got to do a lot of work. Okay? It's going to bring you forward. got to bring you backwards. It balances you. It does all that good stuff. Good. Look at Last one. Come on. So last one for you guys at home. Last one for um, Emily. And last one for Brooke. And then we call it a day. Okay? Good. Now again, decision. You want to use your left foot and face the same way. You want to use the strong foot. You're going to have to switch sides. Okay? So you pull with the bottom, push over the outside, come forward with the outside. Very good, Emily. And she's officially done. Very good, D. Almeida. Big D. Almeida. Good. Now we don't call Brooke Little D. Almeida because you know, that wouldn't be right. She would be medium D. Almeida, you know? Come on. Facing the same way, you use her opposite, her opposite foot. Good. 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 Finish. And good. Okay. So, um, to close it out, I want to say thank you to Brooke and Emily for allowing me to um, make fun of them and train them for over 40, 35, 40 minutes. This will be my only appearance on here, so um, it was good seeing you guys. And hopefully, uh, June 22nd start date, guys, be ready for it, okay? Thanks. See ya. Bye bye.